Hello subscribers and viewers. Today I'm going to show you guys how to um, clone an entire website or the entire web, World Wide Web, with a program called HTTrack Website Copier. Just open up your browser and do a simple Google search for that. It's free, so that's always great. Um, just give my browser a second. There you go. So HTTrack just one word and the first one go to the download page here and then select your operating system download it install it and now run it all right from here we're gonna hit the file new hit next and then the project name is the name of the website you want to copy or sorry it's the project's name it doesn't have to be the website's name and in our case I'm just gonna make it my website's name um, project category, it doesn't really need one. The base path, this is where all the files are going to be stored. I'm going to do my desktop and then forward slash CW, which stands for create website, because I'm just going to be cloning my website. I'm going to hit next. Alright, um, if you want to clone one website, I'm going to select this one. If you want to clone every website linking to that website and so on click this one um, if you ever interrupted if you were ever interrupted the download you could continue interrupted download here or you could update existing download files here so those are two handy options as well again we're just going to use a download website option here web addresses hit add URL since I'm going to be cloning my website, I'm going to give that address. And I'm going to, yeah, if this authentication, that's if you need login information um, to access the website. So hit next. And this stuff really isn't important. So we're just going to clone it here and it'll take about not too long my website isn't that big I think it has like a hundred pages or something we're just gonna go through the process here and it'll stop when it's done I'll make this funny sound of or something. so I'm just gonna pause the video until it's done something I forgot to mention is that this HT track um, software does follow um, the robot text file and another thing to know is right here on the menu or I don't know what is it is called I don't know but right here it shows how many files are queried and how many files have actually been downloaded after the site's cloned I'll show you guys all right there it is. all right it's done so I'm just gonna show you guys the files that were downloaded as you can see, since my website's entirely HTML besides a contact form, everything's functional. So you could completely copy my website if anyone wanted to. Um, notice how it did collect a few other pages that weren't inside um, its domain name. You can delete those if you want. Um, or you could keep them. So, if I open up the folder, this is all my pages. Um, and to prove that, I'll actually open up my um, work directory here of what I actually have on the website. Now, there are a few files that have been added, but other than that, it's a complete clone or copy. Now, sadly, this doesn't work with PHP files. I mean, you can copy them, but you're not going to get the server-side scripting of it. Um, another few things that I wanted to show you guys um, is the options panel here. There's a lot of different options, like scan rules. Basically, these are the different things the um, spider is allowed to crawl. Limits, maximum mirroring depth. Um, Mat size of an HTML file. 
and there's actually an option here. Let's see. Um, right here, follow robot text rules or no. So the robot text file is like a file that tells the robots which pages they can and cannot visit. So if you wanted, you could ignore that, which I don't suggest doing, but you could, and so on. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, or comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.